Welcome to another training session. In this session, we will see how to make a program for the shutter door application in the ladder logic using the Somatic Manager software. Before starting this session, I will recommend you guys to see the previous sessions 8 and 9 of this training series. As we are going to use the motor control block which we have created in these sessions. The links for these sessions are in the description box. Now let's see the setup for the today's tutorial. We have a shutter door operated with the motor. If we turn on the Q0.0 .0 output of the PLC, it will move the shutter up. And if we turn on the Q0.1 output of the PLC, it will move the shutter down. Next we have up and down limit switches I0.1 and I0.2 to detect the position of the shutter door. Next we have a car sensor I0.0 at the shutter door to detect the incoming car. Next if we go inside the parking here, here you can find another car sensor to detect the exiting car connected at I0.3 input of the PLC. Now let's go to the Somatic Manager software and do the programming for this. So first of all we will open the last project, project number 10 in which we have created the motor control block. So first of all we will open the same FB1 and in here we have to do some modification. As previously we were using the stop push button to stop the motor. So that's why we inserted here a normal open contact. But this time around we are using a sensor to stop the motor. So we have to make this normal open contact as a close contact. So what we are going to do we will insert a NC contact. And we can keep the name of this contact same as star push button. We will delete this normal open contact. We will save our FB. Close this one. And we will go back and open the OB1. For the network one, we can give it a name as a shutter control logic. So now if we expand our FP blocks here, we can find the motor control block. We just check and drop this one onto the network. And we can assign it a DB address like uh, DB20. Okay. Now as we know that the motor forward command output is Q0.0, which is motor which is shutter up command and motor reverse command which is shutter down command it is Q0.1 output of the PLC. Now we have assigned the outputs to this motor control block and the next thing we are going to do is to assign these inputs. We will create a branch here and insert a normal open contact and we can assign it I0.0, I which is car incoming sensor. And we will insert a NC contact with I0.1, which is up limit switch. So when the incoming car sensor triggers and it senses the car, and the shutter is not at the up limit switch position. So what it's going to do? It should turn on the motor forward command. Like this. So when the car is sensed at the incoming. And the shutter is not at the up position. It should start the motor in the forward direction. Which in turn activate the shutter up command and the shutter will start to open. Same thing we have to do when the car is exiting the parking. For this one we just insert an NO contact of I0.3 and we will 
connected here. So now if the car is incoming or car is exiting and the shutter is not at the up position, it will activate the shutter up command Q0.0. Next we have to write the condition when to stop the motor. For this one we will insert another branch and we will insert here Q0.0 which is shutter up command and we will insert a NO contact of I0.1 which is up limit switch and we can connect it at the stop push button. Now what will happen when the shutter up command is on and shutter is moving up and shutter reaches the up limit switch it will immediately stop the shutter motor. So this logic helps to stop the motor while the shutter is opening. Same thing we have to write while the shutter is closing. For this one we will insert another contact and we can assign it Q0.1 which is shutter close command and in series with this one we have to insert a NO contact of I0.2 which is down limit switch and we can connect in parallel here. So whether the shutter is opening or closing once these sensors limit switches are activated the shutter motor will stop. Next we have to write the logic to close the shutter. So how we can close the shutter by running the motor in the reverse direction. For this one we will insert a branch here and C contact of I0.0 which is car incoming sensor and the NO contact of I0.1 which is up limit switch. So if there is no incoming car and the limit switch is already at the up position it will uh, no, we have, we will insert a timer here. So what we're gonna do, we will go here and search for the on delay timer. We can give it like T2 timer and S5 hash 10 seconds. So this is a 10 second delay timer. S5 T. Okay, there is no incoming car sensed by I0.0 sensor and the shutter is already at the up position and after 10 seconds it will activate this reverse start which in return turn on this Q0.1 output of the PLC to move the shutter down. Next we will insert another NC contact of I0.3 which is exiting car sensor which is inside the parking. So we will connect it also here in parallel with this one. Now it will scan both sensors. I think we should keep it in series. There is no car at incoming, there is no car at exiting and the shutter is at up position. After 10 seconds it will energize the reverse motor start okay and the shutter will start to come down so this is the logic next we will close this thing save it and we will run the simulation As the shutter is already closed, this contact is closed here. Now, as you can see that, as the car is sensed by the incoming sensor I0.0, it turns on the shutter command Q0.0 and the shutter starts to move up slowly.
As you can see that as the shutter reaches the up limit switch I 0.1, it turns off the Q 0.0 output of the PLC and the motor stops at the I 0.1 up limit switch. And as the car is moving inside, the sensor Q0.0 also turns off. As you can see that now this timer is timing and as the 10 second completes, motor starts to run in the reverse direction. Means now it is closing. And as soon as the shutter reaches the down position, which is I0.2 down limit switch. It turns off the shutter down command Q0.1. So this is how we can make a basic shutter control logic using the motor control block. In this session, we have written the logic really simply and we have keep the things really simple. In the upcoming tutorials of this Somatic Manager training series, we will be making more complex logical programs. So, so for these sessions, please stay connected and subscribe to this channel. And till next time, take care and goodbye.